back, it's Christina again with the Artist Pod, and today we're going to be talking about how to draw a gray squirrel. So, let's get arting. Alright, so gray squirrel is already sketched out, so we are going to get started. So when I'm doing this step right, it, it's still kind of that sketching layer. It just helps me figure out fur direction, so that when I put full pin pressure, I know what direction to put the pin pressure. Some line conflicts um, won't sh really show up as a big deal, but sometimes if I have um, fur going blatantly the wrong way, it, it will be noticeable. And so I've got to make sure that that's kind of set up in a way that makes sense, that all the lines are kind of working smoothly together. And squirrels, they have multiple colors. It's gray, brown, and white. And so trying to make sure I know what, where to, to make any transition of color also is, is important. Okay, so now that we are done sketching it, we are gonna add the um, shadows and highlights. I'm actually gonna have the light source coming from this side because his face is turned that way. So I want to make sure his face catches the light as much as possible. I might still readjust the tail. I feel like I made it a little too far over to the left, but we'll see as we get to it. Even when the light source coming from that upper, you know, left side, the side closest to the light source would still be in shadow, just that, that edge before it goes into highlight. Um, that's how you kind of indicate that an object has three dimensions to it. You add a shadow on either side, and there's really where you're adding the highlight is, is in between um, on the side closest to the highlight. Obviously, a deeper shadow is going to be on the back side away from it, which you can see as I, as I do the back and the side there. As I brought the lines down, I, re I couldn't fully shade that in until I fixed the tail, so that's what I, I need to do there before I continue the shadowing and highlights, because that would determine how those shadows and highlights kick in at the tail. Ideally, I won't have to select an erase because that can be tricky to add back in, but um, I was able to do it. You just I have to erase further out than I normally would like to in order to make it look more smooth as I bring it back in. And for the brown, gray squirrels have a lot of brown mixed into their fur, and so I opted to put the brown on top, um, and it, it definitely worked. As I'm shadowing the individual um, parts of the squirrel, like the, the its little like fingers and toes, you know they're they're individual shapes, and so I'm shadowing and highlighting based on those individual shapes. They're little ovals. Alright, so that is how you draw a gray squirrel. I hope that was helpful. In the floating nether next to me, I have other videos of art tutorials I have done, and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much. Take care.